What's the purpose of C40 and what are you expecting to get through this organization? Well, C40 is standing for 69 cities and I think uh, cities have a lot of problems when it comes to the climate, when it comes to the environment, but they also have the solutions. And that's what I think C40 will bring us, solutions to save the problems. It's not a problem, it's a challenge. Uh, I love the confraternity and consorority of mayors that, that come together from around the world to share what they do. And they're very generous. You know, the projects that work, they share with you. The projects that don't, they share with you. And in that way, you learn what is replicable and scalable in your city. So I come to C40 to be inspired and to shamelessly steal good ideas and to take them home. And what are the signals you're sending by being here in New York while all the state's leaders are gathered as a leader of mega cities? Um, well, I think it's, it's showing that cities are showing great leadership and are actually taking the action where up until recently, perhaps national governments have fallen short. We're making decisions that uh, impact our cities, but those cities impact the, the, the countries in which we uh, uh, reside. And uh, we're trying to raise awareness for levels of government that haven't been responsive in the past. We're not waiting, we're moving forward. We love our national leaders, we really do. We're very fond of them. But they don't act very quickly. They talk a lot. You know, I think when I go home to my city, I'll be doing things about climate change, about adaptation, about resilience. I'll be planting trees, I'll be collecting storm water. How's the progress made by C40 cities having an impact outside the big cities? Um, the problems that uh, C40 is, uh, is facing uh, or tackling are independent of scale. So uh, the, the C40 cities are, uh, are, are taking a step, but uh, the other cities will follow. So this is, uh, this is collaboration as it, as it best. The cities in general are showing that we can take climate action to reduce our uh, carbon emissions and adapt to climate change in a way that is beneficial to our citizens. It's not just about lumbering them extra costs, it's not about asking them to change their lives fundamentally. It's just about uh, economic efficiencies, it's about greater resilience, and overall that can lower costs and actually improve the quality of life. What are the advantages of working at a local basis rather than at a national basis? Well, at a national or global basis, we talk, we make agreements, and we uh, uh, think of policies. But finally, it has to be done somewhere, and it only can be done locally and regionally. So that's why it's important that uh, ideas are coming from bottom up from the local areas. A national government can set the guidelines, but the real implementation can be made on local basis. So you know, the uh, local government are really close with the citizens. So uh, we have, uh, you know, um, the uh, friendly citizens to cooperate on our project to uh, reduce. Look, I think there is always great difficulty in getting agreement to almost anything, even in a family. You know, try that at community level, then at suburban level, then at city level, then at subnational level, then at national level, then at global level. It gets harder as you go up. So the natural unit to work on action is the city. And that's where we do things. That's what I think the power of cities is, and it's why C40 is so important.